Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to increase chest and shoulder rotation. All right guys, let's talk about increasing chest and shoulder rotation. This is our third video uh, this week, kind of our third part uh, video series of our rotation masterclass. Hopefully you watch the videos on Monday and Wednesday. If not, go back and check them out. Uh, we have launched our rotation masterclass as of uh, Monday, March 18th. Hopefully you know that already. If you don't, now you do. Uh, rotation masterclass is 19 videos, an hour and 15 minutes of content we put together. Really the goal being to organize things, step-by-step -step learning, run you through everything you could possibly need to know in terms of increasing rotation in your golf swing during your downswing really being the primary goal, why you haven't been able to, what you need to do, and we broke it down, set up backswing, downswing, upper body, lower body, the whole nine yards. That's why we called it a masterclass. So the link will be in the description down below if you wanna check that out. What I wanna talk about today is increasing chest and shoulder rotation. If you've seen our videos in the past, you've seen kind of our thoughts on how much chest or shoulder rotation you should have in general, um, getting too far open or too far closed, and kind of what you're trying to do. So I'm not going to go through that as much, but I want to show you a drill that I like to use um, that I've seen some different people do and then I saw about 10 years ago that really works well to increase chest and shoulder rotation. Before we do that, um, when I'm talking chest and shoulder rotation during the downswing, um, Mainly what I've been saying over the past year or so is that, hey, I want you to get your whole entire body as open as humanly possible, right? So I want your whole body as open as possible. Hips, rib cage, chest, shoulders, everything. The idea being if we can ideally get the upper body open, let, uh, learn how to shallow the club head, those two pieces will match up very nicely. That would be ideal, okay? And, and kind of to get out of the idea of just opening the lower body and keeping the upper body back, that can work, you can match it, but I like everything open, learn to shallow the clubs. That's what these drills will be based around. In the master class, we go through that in a little bit more detail and explain kind of how the patterns match up and how much rotation you should or should not have. Um, kind of as a stock thing real quick before we go, if you were to have a 90 degree shoulder turn at the top of your swing, by the time you got from the top down into the left arm parallel, you would go from about 90 degrees of shoulder turn to about 45. Okay, down into last parallel would be square, and by impact, I like to see 10, 20, 30 degrees open. So again, just kind of briefly, what we're talking about here is 90 degrees turn here, 45 by left arm parallel, square by down here, and by the time you're at impact, having some amount open. And yes, there's different ways to do that in different patterns, but that's what we're looking for here. So, you know, getting the chest and shoulders open, why would you want to do that? You know, for me, there's really two main areas where uh, increasing chest and shoulder rotation during the downswing help, and that is club face control, number one, and low point, number two. Meaning, kind of in simple terms, the players that I've worked with and seen, the more open their chest is, so the more the chest is pointed towards the target, the more the shoulders are open, they have better club face control. If my chest and shoulders are more towards closed, they have worse club face control. I'll make that kind of a stock general statement. The more my chest and shoulders are open, the more it moves the low point of my swing forward, so better contact. The more when I come down my chest stays closed, the more my low point wants to be behind the ball, fast and fence. So to recap that briefly, chest more open, more better golf. Chest less open, less better golf, yeah? So that's kind of the general idea here, if you can learn to shallow the club. If you can't shallow the club, the chest opening is not gonna be as good for you. That's another video. So the drill here, I saw this about 10 years ago for the first time with a guy I work with now named Mark Sensitz. Shout out to Mark Sensitz. And I've seen some other guys do it online. And basically the idea is a upper body rotation drill um, is the main point, but it's really focused more on, on low point. So what I do is I take my setup position. I have my golf ball here. I put a second ball about a grip behind my first ball. Okay, so second ball is roughly a grip behind my first ball. I take my normal setup. I preset my rotation, so from a pause static spot, I get my hips and my pelvis open about 30, 40 degrees, I have my shoulders open like so, I'm gonna take my club, put it right above the back ball like this, 
I'm going to make a little tiny swing with a mini rehearsal back here, and I'm going to try and get back to my spot at impact. I like the pre-setting it open, one for feel, right? So ideally when you're doing this, you're giving yourself feedback. If you preset open and you're like, yeah, I really feel open, and you look at it and your hips are 10 degrees open, like no, okay, now you know right off the bat your, your, your feels need to be coordinated. Wow, that's how open I need to feel. Holy crap, that feels really, really open. Okay, good, at least I know that. And starting from a preset turn here, you can kind of cheat it a little bit and learn what it feels like to get your chest and shoulders and entire body open and impact. So that's the deal with the drill. Now I'm doing this first with a short club and I'd work my way up. It's a little contact compression rotation drill, normal setup, presetting my turn, club over the back ball. And then I'm just gonna hit a little shot and I'm working on getting back to getting my chest and my shoulders open. Now, when you feel this, we always talk about left side and right side feels. I guess there's a left side and right side of your chest, but more or less you're talking sternum location to the target. So that's kind of universal, just getting your chest more open. How do you do that? You go back and you feel like your chest gets towards the target, pointed more towards the target sooner relative to your arms and hands. Here would be my arms and hands beating my chest. Here would be my chest beating my arms and hands. I like the latter. So that would be part one of the feel, about a grip, normal setup, preset my chest open, my hips open, club back over here, and then I try and get to the same spot and just have everything wide open. So it's the chest feel. Now you can also do that with your left shoulder, right shoulder. So if I'm here like so, if I want more upper body rotation and I got the impact, I feel like my left shoulder goes more back behind me or I can feel like my right shoulder comes through sooner, almost like my right shoulder is gonna get there before the club hit, or my left shoulder is gonna get back behind me before I hit. Either one of those feels can be fine, okay? If I did that, they would look like the same thing. Normal setup, preset impact, back here, left shoulder opening. Okay, that feels good, that's probably the best one of the three I hit. Or you can feel right shoulder. And if I didn't tell you what I was feeling, you probably wouldn't be able to tell, they should produce almost all the same thing. So normal setup, preset open, club back here, right shoulder through. Good. I hit those last two better than the first two, so maybe left shoulder and right shoulder better for me. This is just one of the drills, um, like we have similar drills like this in that master class. Again, wanted to give you an overview, make sure you know that that class is there. Um, I really do, if you guys go through and go through that class and watch all the videos, it's gonna give you everything you need to know. Now it'd be ideal if you'd supplement that with an online lesson, with an in-person lesson with someone, or golf.com so I could see your swing. But even without that, you have everything you need to know about rotation. So I know it's gonna help you, okay? You gotta pay a little bit of money for it, but you're gonna watch those videos. The link will be down in the description down below. Rotation Masterclass, hope you guys check it out. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked the video, please do me a favor, click the like button down below. Click the notification bell if you haven't. Also, please subscribe. Another reminder, golf.com is up and live. If you want more instruction from me, tailored for you, would love uh, for you to check that out. The link is in the description down below. Lastly, we are on YouTube every Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Would love to see you guys there. Thank you.